Hello, this is Impact. I'm Yalda Hakim. Images of dead civilians in the streets of a town near Kyiv have been condemned around the world. Ukraine has accused Russian troops of a deliberate massacre. It is time to do everything possible to make the war crimes of the Russian military the last manifestation of such evil on earth. Russia says the images are staged. We'll examine the latest evidence. Also on the program... Pakistan's Supreme Court is expected to decide the fate of embattled Prime Minister Imran Khan following a day of political turmoil. A landslide victory for Hungary's nationalist Prime Minister Viktor Orban. He criticised the EU and President Zelensky in his victory speech. That's all coming up here on Impact. Welcome to the program. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he's assembling a team of international judges to investigate alleged war crimes committed by Russian soldiers. Officials say about 400 bodies have been recovered from areas around Kyiv. Secunda, thank you so much for that. And uh, of course, we will be back uh, in the next few minutes with all the latest headlines, including the latest from Ukraine. The established international order has been upended by the invasion of Ukraine. Europe's decoupling from Russia, a historic split that's unlikely to be reversed so long as Putin is in power. So what does that mean? Join us for the context with me, Christian Fraser, Monday to Thursday, here on BBC World News. Hello, this is Impact. I'm Yalda Hakim. Images of dead civilians in the streets of a town near Kyiv have been condemned around the world. Ukraine has accused Russian troops of a deliberate massacre. It is time to do everything possible to make the war crimes of the Russian military the last manifestation of such evil on earth. A landslide victory for Hungary's nationalist Prime Minister Viktor Orban. He criticised the EU and President Zelensky in his victory speech. A major UN report will warn that global warming has become so dangerous humans need to develop ways to remove carbon from the atmosphere. That's all coming up here on Impact. Welcome back to the program. The UN Secretary General has called for an independent investigation into the deaths of civilians in Ukraine after Russia was accused of war crimes. Ukrainian forces have reported finding hundreds of bodies as they've re-entered areas close to the capital Kyiv and mass graves in the town of Bucha. Un unfortunately, we just have a few uh, seconds left. Thank you so much for joining us here on the program. We'll be back with all the latest headlines in the next few minutes. Hello, this is Impact. I'm Yalda Hakim. Images of dead civilians in the streets of a town near Kyiv have been condemned around the world. Ukraine has accused Russian troops of a deliberate massacre. It is time to do everything possible to make the war crimes of the Russian military the last manifestation of such evil on earth. I'm Anna Foster in Lviv, where Ukrainians are reacting to those horrific pictures they've seen from Bucha. Pakistan's Supreme Court adjourned without deciding on the legality of Prime Minister Imran Khan's actions in blocking an opposition attempt to oust him. And Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam announces she's not seeking a second term in office, ending a 40-year career. That's all coming up here on Impact.
Welcome back to the program. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he's assembling a team of international judges to investigate alleged war crimes committed by Russian soldiers. Officials say about 400 bodies have been recovered from areas around Kyiv that were previously occupied by Russian troops. Way out. You know those people, they'll find an uncivilized way out. First, it's very that was uh, President Volodymyr Zelensky, who has visited the town of Bucha, just outside of Kiev, where we saw those horrific images of bodies lying in the streets. Uh, he has accused Russia of committing genocide and says it's difficult to speak to Russia uh, when you see what they have done to Ukraine. We'll be back with all the latest headlines business coming up in the next few minutes. Hello, this is Impact. I'm Yalda Hakim. Images of dead civilians in the streets of a town near Kiev have been condemned around the world. President Zelensky has arrived in the town and he described the horror of what he's seen. We know thousands of people that were tortured and killed with um, cut off uh, hands and legs, extremities, and what they did to the women. Pakistan's Supreme Court adjourns without deciding on the legality of Prime Minister Imran Khan's actions in blocking an opposition attempt to oust him. Hong Kong's chief executive Carrie Lam announces she's not seeking a second term in office, ending a 40-year career. That's all coming up here on Impact. Welcome back to the program. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he's assembling a team of international judges to investigate alleged war crimes committed by Russian soldiers. Officials say about 400 bodies have been recovered from areas around Kyiv that were previously occupied by Russian troops. Okay, that was Ambassador uh, Hussein Haqqani talking about the crisis there in uh, Pakistan. The Supreme Court has begun hearing arguments over whether the dissolution of the country's parliament yesterday was legal. We will be following that story very closely again tomorrow. Uh, so do join us for that. And of course, you can send me any of your thoughts here on Twitter. I'm at BBC Yalda Hakim. You can also go to our website to get all the latest on all the stories we've covered here today, including uh, the atrocities that we have been seeing on the outskirts of Kiev in the town of Bucha. We will be following that story closely here on BBC World News throughout the day. Matthew will be here in 30 minutes time for the latest headlines. But from me and the team here on Impact, goodbye for now. Hello there. In Europe, it's the southeast. We're in the place to be for some early spring water.